Hi, it's Amy and Jackie here from Pressure Cook Recipes. If you just got an Instant Pot, welcome to the club. So which Instant Pot did you get? Let us know in the comments below. I know you're probably really excited, but looking at the box, you might be a bit overwhelmed or maybe even a little bit intimidated. That's perfectly normal, but don't worry. We'll show you this is the way to set up your instant pot. Ooh, the child. Here's a quick glance at what you'll be expecting inside. So here's the manual. Here's power tool. This Grogu Instant Pot is a 6 quart Instant Pot Dual 60. Let's take a look at what's inside. First, here's a warning card. Don't worry, the Instant Pot is very safe to use, but make sure you have a quick read on these safety warnings. See what else is there. This is a steamer rack. It's a very useful tool for cooking in the instant pot. Yeah, depending on which model you got, it might come with some bonus accessories like these. An extra ceiling ring. It's very useful to have a spare one. Soup ladle, rice paddle, rice measuring cup, and this cute little silicon mini mitts. You'll also notice that different models will have different buttons or dials and also they might look a bit different, but they all have four basic parts to the Instant Pot. So they have the outer pot, the inner pot, the lid, and the power cord. So first, let's take a look at the outer pot, which is also called the cooker base. Here's where you'll find the display panel, the buttons, the dials, and also where you'll be plugging into the power cord. Inside the pot, make sure you take out the warning card. There is a heating element inside here. This is where you'll be placing the inner pot. So now let's take a look at the inner pot. This is where you'll be cooking your food. So we love this stainless steel inner pot. What's awesome is it's very durable and you can wash it in your dishwasher. Just remember that every time before you cook, check that there's nothing inside here and make sure you put in this pot before you pour any food in. Inside the inner pot, you can see there are some markings here. There's a half fill line and a max fill line. Just remember never fill food above this max fill line. Here's the steamer rack. Every Instant Pot comes with a stainless steel steamer rack with handles like this one. So all you have to do is hold it like this. And it's a very useful tool to cook in the Instant Pot. We'll show you how to use it for cooking all sorts of different things in our upcoming video. So now let's look at the Instant Pot lid. So you need to use this lid every time you pressure cook. I know it might sound silly, but the very first skill you need to master is opening and closing the lid. So let's take a look at how to do that. First, you have to find the inverted triangle on your lid, and you can also find a triangle on your cooker base. So what you have to do is you have to line up the two triangles. So you open, close. Don't worry if you couldn't do it smoothly the first few times. You'll get the hang of it after some practices. There are four parts of the lid that you need to know about. Before we go into the detail, let me take out this warning tag. What you have to do is pull up this little knob. It's called a venting knob. You just have to pull it out and check this out. And you can put this back in. It's normal for it to be wobbly and loose. First is the silicon sealing ring. Every time before I close the lid, 
I quickly run my fingers around the ring, make sure it's tugged in properly and no food is stuck here. Be careful not to yank this out because that might stretch or damage it. Since you won't be able to pressure cook without a proper ring, it's good to get a spare one just in case. And the second thing is the anti-blocking shield. This is one of the Instant Pot safety mechanism. This little cover stops food from getting stuck in the venting knob. So just make sure this little guy is here before you close the lid. And the third thing you need to know is the venting knob. I encourage you to befriend this powerful little knob because you'll be using it every time you pressure cook. I know it might be scary at first, but this is where the steam will be coming out from the Instant Pot. Like I mentioned before, this knob is a bit wobbly and loose, and that's normal. So this is where you can switch the ceiling to venting. Because this is the ceiling position, and this is the venting position. We'll talk more about it in our next video. Finally, the floating valve. This pin tells you the pressure situation inside the Instant Pot. Generally, when the pin is fully up, it means the Instant Pot has generated enough steam inside and it'll begin to build pressure. When it has fully dropped, your Instant Pot has released all the pressure so you can safely open the lid. Let me show you a very neat little feature that most Instant Pots have. So with the lid, it can do this. Ta-da! I call these the lid stands. You can easily slide the lid onto either side of the handles. And this is so convenient when you're browning your food inside the Instant Pot or when you're taking the food out from the Instant Pot. So you don't have to worry about where to put your lid when it's dripping with all the condensation. Just make sure you or your household members don't push down the lid like this because that will break the handles. So just make sure to take it out and close it. Out. So now that you know all about the lid, you might be wondering, what is this? What is this plastic cup for? It's actually the condensation cup. When you open the lid or put the lid on the handles, sometimes you might have some liquid drip into the rim. So this little cup collects all the dripping condensation. It's good to have it installed. It's really easy to install it and you just have to check and rinse it once in a while. Now I'll show you how to install it. Finally, it's time for the lighting ceremony. So here's the power cord. Rip it open. Are you excited? Make sure you plug in the power cord and push it all the way through and push it firmly into the base. Ta-da! Here's the rejoicing beep. Yay! So now you're all set with your new Instant Pot. In our next video, we'll walk you through how to do a test run with your Instant Pot, what everybody calls the water test. Thanks so much for watching our first episode of How to Use Instant Pot with Amy and Jackie. If you've enjoyed it, please smash the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. See you in our next video. Take care. Bye-bye.